Suppose parametric equations for the line segment between the point eight comma five and the point two comma one have the form x equals a plus bt and y equals c plus dt. If the parametric curve, or in this case segment, starts at the point eight comma five when t equals zero, which would be this point here, and ends at the point two comma one when t equals one, which would be this point here, we want to find a, b, c, and d. Before we do this though, notice how as t increases, the segment will be traced in this direction here, which is called the orientation of the curve, or in this case, the orientation of the segment. Because we have to be at the point eight comma five when t equals zero, this means x of zero must equal the x coordinate eight, and y of zero must equal the y coordinate five. And when t equals one, we must be at this point, which means x of one must equal two, and y of one must equal one. Let's begin by determining x of zero and y of zero. X of zero would be equal to a plus b times t, but we know t is zero, so we'd have b times zero. Again, must be equal to the x coordinate when t is zero, which is equal to eight. Notice how this tells us that a must be equal to eight. Now let's find y of zero, which we know must equal five. Y of zero must equal c plus d times t, which is zero, and this must equal five. So notice how this tells us that c equals five. So now that we know a equals eight and c equals five, Let's find x of one and y of one, where x of one must equal two and y of one must equal one. So x of one would be equal to a plus b times t, but t is one, so we have b times one. Again, this must equal two. But we also know a equals eight, so this gives us the equation eight plus b equals two. Subtracting eight on both sides, notice how b equals negative six. And now we'll find y of one, which we know must equal one. y of one equals c plus d times one, which must equal one. And we know c is five, so five plus d equals one. Subtracting five on both sides, d equals negative four. So now we have the values of a, b, c, and d, where our parametric equations would be x, well if we want x of t equals a plus b t, which would be eight minus six t, and y or y of t would be equal to c plus d t, or five minus four t. I do want to point out one more thing before we go though. Notice how the equations for x and t are linear, meaning they do fit the form y equals mx plus b, where in this form m is the slope, which tells us the change of y with respect to x. But in this case, b would be the change of x with respect to t, and d would be the change of y with respect to t. So we could have found b, which again would be the change of x, divided by the change of t by finding the change of the x coordinates and divide by the change of t. Notice how the change of x would be two minus eight and the change of t would be one minus zero, which equals negative six, which again is the value of b that we found. We could also have found d by determining the change of y divided by the change of t, where the change of y would be one minus five, and the change of t would be one minus zero, giving us negative four for d, which again we already found. But I think it is important to recognize that the values of b and d do represent the change of x with respect to t and the change of y with respect to t in our parametric equations. I hope you found this helpful.